Next on Worcester News tonight, as activities increase at the Worcester Commons, statistics show how police presence is making a difference. Plus, making swimming lessons mandatory. City officials are looking to add them into the school's curriculum. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Olivia Lemon. For several years, the city of Worcester has been working to increase police presence downtown. The city manager says he wants to make sure it's being used for what it's intended for, a place for everyone to enjoy and use. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us now with more. Brittany. Olivia, over the past five years, the city has seen a decline in arrests in and around City Hall. City manager says instead of reacting to calls, Worcester police now have an ongoing active presence downtown. On Thursdays in the summer, hundreds come out to enjoy the Worcester Common. It's what city manager at Augusta says the location was made for. We wanted to make sure that the Common was what it was intended to be, which is a place for everyone to enjoy and use. It's also why the city has stepped up police presence on the Common in the past couple of years. Before it was really kind of a reactive approach. If somebody called the police, they would come down and respond to it versus being an ongoing, active, continuous presence down here. So when they see something, they can uh, deal with it in real time. According to the Worcester Police Department, more than 1,000 incidents happened in the area in 2017, but the number of arrests last year actually decreased when compared to 2012. Worcester residents at the Out to Lunch Summer Concert Series say the police have made a big difference. I've been here for like 10 years and it's gotten so much better. It has been less crime because uh, people see cops and if they're doing no good, they don't come around. So it keeps the bad people out and the good people can enjoy their day. I think the police presence is probably necessary given the history of some of the issues that we've had in this area. Marilyn Flores grew up in Worcester and came back to live in the city after college. She says the Worcester Common has changed drastically in the past 10 years. I remember when downtown was kind of a grungy place that no one really wanted to go. Um, and now we have all this kind of like really awesome programming, a lot of great opportunities for families to come down. I like coming here, seeing what's to eat, listening to some music. I always run into people that I know, um, so I have a lot of fun. I really love Worcester and I'm <laughs> super proud to be from here. And while police use different modes of transportation around the common, like on foot and motorcycles, Flora says her favorite is the mounted unit so she can pet the horses. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight. A Worcester man is sentenced to 18 to 20 years in prison after pleading guilty to manslaughter Thursday. The Worcester County District Attorney's Office confirms 20 year old Kevin Miranda was sentenced for his role in the 2015 fatal stabbing of Sharice Hill. According to prosecutors, Miranda, seen at his arraignment in 2016, held down Hill while Pedro Solis stabbed her 19 times. Solis was already sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. A picture tweeted out by Worcester's DPW shows the reason behind a major water main break in the city this week. The DPW says this 24 inch water main pipe was broken along the bottom. It dates back to 1955. The break caused the loss of five to seven million gallons of water. Work continues at Store Street and Shore Drive. Drivers should avoid the area. In an effort to find the man who stole personal items from a car, a Worcester resident is sharing surveillance video which captures the suspect breaking into his vehicle. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us now with the details. Roslyn. Olivia, the incident happened early Wednesday morning in the driveway of his home, and now he's hoping his video will help find the suspect. Surveillance video captures a man breaking into a car on Grafton Street in Worcester. He looks up, looks right at yeah. the camera. The man getting away with important items like credit cards and licenses and a designer purse. It's a violation. It's a, you feel violated inside. The car belongs to Joe Peter's wife. In the video, the suspect tries to get into other cars in their driveway before he finds the one unlocked. It's pretty upsetting that someone just comes and just lifts up your handle and, and takes your things without even thinking about it and even taking your your kid's beach towel. Peter says it was one of the only times they forgot to lock the car. He shared the video on Facebook, hoping someone will recognize him. I'm sure that this isn't his first time that he's out doing it. He looked like he had been there before. He's hoping to get his belongings back. 
and is warning others to keep an eye out and to always make sure your car is locked. You can't really be replaced because of what you did in order to get that. You know, you work the extra hours, you work at a different job, you work at some place just to try to make ends meet, and uh, you know, you get a little something that you're proud of, that you worked hard for, and someone just comes and just takes it. Now police say they are investigating investigating and say it is an isolated incident. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight. Three Worcester men are arrested Wednesday after police received several complaints of drug dealing in the Marble and Main Street area. Worcester police say 50-year-old Edwin Vega was seen meeting with 56-year-old Lance Halloran and exchanging items for cash. Officers believe they witnessed a drug deal and split up. A short time later, they saw Vega meet up with another individual. The man, Albert Ramos, noticed the officers and placed a bag of heroin in his mouth. All three are facing multiple charges, including distribution, of a Class A substance and resisting arrest. Governor Charlie Baker's office says he plans to authorize a sales tax holiday for this weekend, but when he will give the final OK is still unclear. The governor has until Saturday to take action on a $1.5 billion economic development bill already passed by lawmakers. Under the bill, Saturday is set up to be the first day of the two day holiday. The legislation would also authorize more than $1 billion in borrowing, among other things. Multiple drownings across the state, including here in central Massachusetts this summer, has sparked a discussion surrounding water safety. A member of Worcester's Board of Health is hoping to implement swimming lessons into the school's curriculum. Our Gretchen LaRosa has the story. I just learned, I learned the hard way. I just jumped in and I, I just had to learn how to swim. These boys are strong swimmers now, but they say kids would benefit from swimming lessons being added to the curriculum in city schools. The idea comes after several fatal drownings in Massachusetts waterways, including two involving teenagers in central Massachusetts. I just wish everybody learned to swim when they're young, and it, it, those are so tragic. I just feel so sad. Worcester's Board of Health Chair says while the city is making efforts to make pools and beaches safe, the biggest challenge is making sure children learn to swim. We have a lot of uh, places like the Boys Club and Girls Club, they have pools and so if we can build a partnership with them, I think we'll be able to get everyone within the 12 years, K to 12, be able to learn how to swim. David Fort says by learning how to swim early on, children could save their own lives and possibly even the lives of others. He says the Board of Health would have to work with the superintendent of schools in order to make this program a reality. And parents on the Shore Park Beach seem to be supportive. I guess it would be really nice for the kids to kind of know what to do in emergency situations specifically. I know they're starting lessons a lot younger now, so if they could uh, put, incorporate that into school at young ages, that's great. And, you know, build on those skills. Now the next school committee meeting will take place on August 23rd, where the idea will be proposed. They hope this plan could be implemented as soon as next year. Gretchen LaRosa, Worcester News Tonight. The city is celebrating National Farmers Market Week. The Black Seed Farmers Market took place on the Worcester Common Oval today. A large variety of vegetables and fruits were available. Several local farms were representing, including Rutland's Schultz Farm. Owner Samantha Schultz says it's important to highlight farmers' produce because it's fresher food for customers and promotes the local economy. In the grocery stores, it could be sitting for weeks. We put pick fresh every day, daily. My father does the picking, um, he does the growing. I do the selling and the cooking. It's great to come out to the markets because you get to meet a lot of people, you introduce them up to the farms. It helps the farmers. Farmers really nowadays don't make much. So anything that we can bring local to people is good for us as well as them. And if you missed today's Farmers Market, you still have time to celebrate National Farmers Market Week. The Regional Environmental Council will be holding a traveling farmers market at several locations in the city on Friday. Preparations are underway for Our Lady of Mount Carmel's Italian Festival. Crews are setting up for this weekend's event on Massasoit Road. The festival includes Italian food, live entertainment, and a beer garden. The event runs this Friday through Sunday at Our Lady of Loretto Church.